Brothers and sisters, what's going on with you? Coming at you from South Florida. It's a gorgeous day. Beautiful. Hit that like button. Help my algorithm get up. I'd really appreciate that very much. Family, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, so today what I want to get into is this. Um, let's get into modern day Babylon. But I have something special for you today. Very special as a matter of fact. In fact, that's going to blow your mind. So being that, okay, we live in a simulation. And if you haven't seen my videos in the past, when I look at these ripples on the water, I can see the binary, the ones and zeros. And that's just me. It just, it's, that's how it makes sense to me. I see it. Everything's encoded, okay? So even through colors, everything's code. It's all code. So let me get into, and it's all going to tie together in the end, trust me on this. So once there is a, once upon a time, there was, a, there was an experiment done. And it was one of the most incredible experiments that I think people have overlooked. Now let me explain this experiment. It was the observation of a particle. Now this particle was observed and not observed. And here were the results. Look at this snake skin. Holy crap. That's a big snake skin. Here are the results. The results were in. Um, basically what happened is they would shoot a particle down a line. Okay? Down a line. And when it wasn't observed, it would do the same thing. When human beings... This is how you know we live in a simulation. And I'm going to tie this in with the Bible as well. Um... So when they observed these particles, it was amazing. They did something different. But the only time these particles would actually do something different is when brothers and sisters, family, is when they were observed. Now think about this. So does that mean things happen maybe because we observe them? Maybe could we look at a plane and just because several people are looking at the plane at the same time, could the plane possibly come down just because of our observation? Remember, everything is perception. It's the way we perceive things. So let me explain time real quick, being perception. And time is perception. Stay with me on this. Stay with me, trust me. And if you don't agree, that's fine. So we have an hourglass, right? What do you see? You don't particularly see time like on a watch. You don't see numbers. What you see is perception. You perceive through the hourglass. And once the hourglass goes however many minutes, maybe it's a minute, two minutes, that's perception. Okay? Time is a man-made measurement. Perception is not. And that ties into what I want to get into. CERN. Dun, dun, dun. What do you know about CERN? Brothers and sisters, the things that they are creating right now at CERN, would blow your mind. CERN, if you don't know what CERN is, brothers and sisters, CERN, as a matter of fact, is the new, the real, ultimate, new to tower of Babylon. And let me explain how. You see, they, once upon a time, um, the Babylonians, they thought they were going to go ahead and build a big tower into the heavens. That was their thought of it, okay? Well, you know, that's their perception. That's how they perceive they can do it. Obviously, it's probably not possible. But, however, if you can make Higgs, the Higgs boson, which is the hydrogen, large hydron collider, they observe these particles, okay? And they are able to reach in and out of other dimensions. Let me state that again. They're able to reach in and out of other dimensions. Now, through... what. And this, and this is what struck me as crazy. So if they, in this other experiment, when they observe uh, the particle, that's when it does something different. Every time it does something different. But when they're not, it does the same thing. So think, and this has been overlooked. So this is the reason why people observe the particles at CERN. It does something different every time. It's what I, I'm fascinated by this now. Now I really think about it. Um, Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't, pick, I wouldn't be talking about it. But it ties into the Bible because, again, we are in the book of Revelation, I do believe. But if you have not seen the ritual that they did for CERN, I highly recommend you watch it. Take a look. Now, Satan and the devil are actually two different entities in itself. 
let me state that again. Satan and the devil is, are two different entities in it and of itself. You just don't understand that. And Lucifer. So Satan is what? Satan, okay, or Lucifer is the individual that was God's, is, is God's favorite, most enlightened um, angel, okay? Now, the devil, that's just polarity from God. Uh, you got to understand everything runs, and this is, a, I just want to explain this briefly. Everything runs off polarity in this world. So you couldn't have this positive almighty God without the negative portrayed devil that you perceive. Now, this is where worship comes in and why people actually are uh, Satanists. And am I a Satanist? Absolutely not. Have I dabbled in magic? I absolutely have. Do I believe in magic? 100%. Do I know it works? Yes, it definitely works. <laughs> That's a fact. Um, however, um, so right now is a very spiritual time to be alive. And I say that because I have been approached by entities. As in my last video, and people are probably over. I don't lie. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't. I don't lie about anything. I don't lie. I have no need to lie. I have seen what they say demonic beings as being extraterrestrials is in the small grays. I've, only, I've seen tall grays from a distance. Small grays up close. The small grays look like little demons. They do. Um, I mean, how they. How most people depict them probably in their mind. And I've seen them up close and personal. I'm not gonna get deep into this, but if you if you really want to know anything, you can more than welcome to ask me. Uh, I have proof of it. I have video of it. At first, they wouldn't let me take their pictures. They did not want that. But they speak to telepathy. And again, that sounds crazy, but whatever. Um, anyways, back to the Bible and Revelations. And so the gods right now are trapped on Saturn. I believe that their souls were released onto this earth. And let me restate that. There's again, no, state it correct their souls were released onto this earth. So right now, the 144,000 that I said, I truly believe are Satan's angels. And that's why there's this huge battle coming up. And that's why uh, one of my favorite artists said, you know, I kissed the serpent. The serpent, that's what they called Lucifer. Or the, uh, in, in the Bible, ye old serpent. Why were they called Lucifer serpent? Think about this for a second. Why would they call Satan a serpent? Ye old serpent. Think about that. Now, I want to know down in the comments what you think, because I, I don't really know what to think of that. Um, it's, maybe he's reptilian. Is what? That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Oh my God, speaking of which, holy shit. Oh, I know you saw that. Holy cow. So, brothers and sisters, if you made it thus far with me, that's the reason why I found this skin. Uh, let me go a little further. So, the reason why secret societies are made, they're covenants. They're covenants of extraterrestrial beings. You may not know this, and if you are in one of these secret societies, depending on which one you are, um, well, some of them are interplanet. They are, these secret societies have been made by extraterrestrials working with mankind and I know this offhand like I, I for fact I'm not playing I know this 100% how do you think it's possible why do you think they call us the shining ones the enlightened ones why do you think I always say I know some things you don't because I do and I'm free to speak on most part so if on any topic uh, and I got answers ladies and gentlemen I got answers I'm, I'm only I'm going to tell you a little something about myself right quick. So, I actually turned the age of 33 on Easter Sunday. Okay? Now, as you know, Jesus died at the age of 33. Right around that time I turned 33 is when strange things started happening. And my whole life is in... And I had only had one other birthday on Easter. So everything is all in alignment in my life so perfectly. Brothers and sisters, never give up your freedom, okay? For example, the booster shots, 
Don't give up your freedom. Those are your those are your personal rights, your God-given rights. And with that said, family, uh, I hope you got a lot out of this. Um, again, if you have any questions about anything particularly, I could uh, supernatural. Uh, I you know if you haven't seen the one video in reverse, I've I'm I've been in contact with uh, three different species of extraterrestrials, and they're not what you think. They're not as they're not what you think. One race is not what you think at all. They like blend right in. So, and also they're very hard to see because they're interdimensional. But anyways, I don't want to get into that. With that said, family, woo! Feels so good to be alive. I want to give a big thanks to everybody. A huge shout out to the veterans. Thank you, veterans, and a huge shout out to my mentor, Ralph Smart. I love you, my brother. Y'all have a blessed day. Family first. Peace.